guys welcome back to my youtube channel before we go into this video i'll first apologize for my inconsistency in posting videos i'm really deeply sorry but i promise you guys that i'll be dropping interesting hot content back to back so you guys should stay tuned and don't forget to hit that subscribe button all right guys on today's video we're talking about we'll be making simple donut recipe yes guys i'll be teaching you how to make your donut without a donut cutter yes and you get that perfect round shape yes you'll be making donut without a donut recipe uh, without a donut cutter and you'll be getting that donut <laughs> round donut shape so guys stay tuned don't touch that down stay tuned to this video and don't forget guys subscribe please please subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up if you like the video and also turn on the bell notification to get notified whenever i post interesting videos thank you guys so much all right guys so to make your donut you need an empty bowl for combining the ingredients you will need your flour you will need your sugar you need your milk flavor milk flavor powder and finally for the major ingredients you need your yeast I put my yeast in an airtight container so that it would still last for long all right guys so let's get into combine let's get into this video in a dry bowl i'll be pouring my 500 grams of flour into the bowl i'll be adding my sugar and i'll be adding my milk flavor i'll be using two tablespoons of it is a two tablespoon that's two tablespoon then I'll be making use of one teaspoon of one teaspoon of my dry yeast my active dry yeast fifty gram of butter so now I've mixed the dry ingredients already and now I'll be combining I'll be adding my butter into the mix So I've added my butter and I'll be combining it. I'll make it form like a bread like a breadcrumb like texture. So now I'll create a hole and I'll be adding one cup of water, warm water, um, of normal water, of room temperature water.
we should form this kind of stretchy dough stretchy not too sticky dough Alright, so I would leave, I'll cover this dough and leave it to sit for 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes, then I'll come and check it to see how far it has risen. Alright guys, take care, we'll be back shortly. So we're back again and our dough has rested for quite a while. Yes, are you seeing how, how the dough is? So now, we'll be making round shapes with the dough meanwhile i kept some flour to dust our surface with it and i'll be kneading the dough just a little bit more just be kneading it a little bit more be working on the dough a little more remember we did not put much flour so that it's not become too floury now at this stage I'll be cutting my dough Just using the flour to toast my hands. Now I'll be forming. Watch how my hand movement goes. I already locked the whole thing. Then watch how my hand movement is. Are you seeing it? So I'll be dusting the area, my surface area. So I'll be cutting another. I'll be using the same procedure again after locking it I roll it I know I if you can see I'm using my to roll it and I'll set it aside Can cut it to your desirable size. Maybe I was confused, or did you feel it too? In that room, it suddenly just felt like it was me and you. Cause I forgot about your friend. What's his name again? I really can't recall a single thing of what he said to me It was just like waking up from a fever dream When I found out that you have someone else and that she knows about me What a waste on such chemistry But if we could fuck the rules, you would be with me If I'm not supposed to think about you like this myself lose but i hold on to you now i'm in your city wasting time oh god i wish you knew i hate being in between i want to make a scene still hoping for you and me wondering what could have been it was just like waking up from a so guys we've come successfully made all our round shapes so we'll leave it to rest for a few minutes then after resting for a few minutes we'll fry it so guys, it's been it's been um, ten minutes since we allowed our dough, our rounded dough, to rest. So at this point now, 
if you can notice some of the dough is already rising so we have to start frying now all right guys so we'll be taking our dough i'll show you how and um, the easiest way to create a, sh a round a hole in the middle of the dough i already washed my hands again so either you use any this thing or you can use your hands to create a round shape are you seeing how i've created the round shape are you seeing it very easy you've gotten your round shape in the middle and your round donut are you seeing it are you seeing it? just expand it the gluten already formed is going to make it stay for a while are you guys seeing it just expand it the gluten is already going to make it form all right guys so now i want to go get down to frying So my created oil, we need to add um, onions in it. The oil is already hot, so I'll be adding my onions. My flame is too much, so I'll be reducing my flame a little bit so that it can properly cook. This is the color we are looking at. It is fried to perfection. So guys, we've come to the end of the video. This is how our donut, this is how your donut is supposed to look like. The round, perfect shape with no donut cutter. Guys, can you see it? Can you see how the donut looks like? The inside, oh my god. So filling. This, this recipe is a must. Is a must. I'm the one telling you guys, this recipe is a must. Are you guys seeing it? Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and don't don't forget to also comment. Comment, tell me what you think about the recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.